Okay. Welcome. So, in case you're wondering, this is Jackie, aka Fabulous Jack. So, I'm going to go to Goodwill. It's Thursday, $1.99 day. See what we can find. So, hopefully, if there's no music, I will take you along with me. But if there's music, being that I have to edit my own video, Remy is not here until tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not going to do it because I don't want copyright. Okay. All right, guys. I will see you later on today or early tomorrow morning. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. Over. See you later. Peace. Until tomorrow. Okay, guys, we just got out of Goodwill. Mm. Couldn't take no video in there. It's a little packed. It was dollar ninety nine day. It was crazy, but I was able to find a few pieces and yeah, a couple of stuff and one luxury brand. Oh, and then I got this. I might not even be able to show you guys, but do we see this cheetah shades? Yes. Let me try them on so you guys can see. Let's put this baby on. Hold on, guys. Just got to show you how cool these are. Look at that. Hello. They had the lighter cheetah and the darker cheetah, but I chose this. Ah, look, at this. look at God. Cute. You guys remember I did get this from there a while back, and I get so many compliments every time I wear the shades. But anyway, guys, sit up back here in the back. We got goodwill. And I did stop at American Way for a minute, but I got a good old luxury brand of shoe, uh, Alexander Wang. Cost me a lot, but I'll show you guys some other day. So, yeah, that's it for my day. I'm going home. I might do a haul tonight. If not, it will be tomorrow morning. So, stay tuned. Bye bye. Okay, guys, we are home. We are home, sweet home, sweet home. So we did Goodwill and a little bit of American Way. And maybe I will show you a few items I picked from the showroom, LA showroom, maybe. But this was a Goodwill dollar night nine day. I told you guys it was crowded, some kind of crowded, but we made it through. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't that much stuff, but I'll just show you guys what I picked out. I think American Way, oh, I'm missing something. American Way is where I found most of my goodies, even though I'm missing a very good luxury item. But I think I'll show you that because it's vintage. I'll show you that on Sunday. Yes, yes, yes. So you could tune in on Sunday. I ain't going to show you today. Nope. If you're new here, once more. I'm Jackie, aka Fabulous Jack. We're all about looking fabulous. We do the high, the low, and the middle. We don't discriminate. So we can look fierce. Okay. So I went to Goodwill. And you guys know, like I said, platforms are in. And I found this beautiful open toe platform by Pretty Little Thing. My size. Go figure. I'm gonna wear my glasses if y'all don't mind only because there's no eye makeup here just me running raggedy see beautiful shoe pretty little thing never been worn yeah so I'm always doing this backwards guys so forgive me I love it it's not a trying haul this is to show you what I picked out love my shoes once more i'm loving this so i tried it on it's my size and i paid eleven dollars what is it to say 11.99 pretty little things go figure time to tell you guys then how to thrift the next item i got <clears throat> i know you guys don't like when i show ties but i'm gonna show you I got a Lanvin tie. I think I did get one too from American Way. So, but this one is from Goodwill. And this Lanvin tie was purple tag. Purple tag was $1.99. That 
the white tag shoe was not on sale so i got this lamba luxury tie for those two dollars or do on the trucker two dollars guys lamba where you gonna find that at yay I might take it to the real real if holidays are coming if your man is the man that sports a tie this is the time to get it okay what else did i get oh i got this beautiful apartment nine women one x cardigan but i'm so i love it where's my i don't have hmm love it apartment nine it's more like a crochet gorgeous it's snaps i should try it on huh because i didn't even try it in the store because there were too many people i was like nah not not doing it it was wasn't on sale but i got it anyway because the price was right it was five dollars and 99 cents okay this beautiful cardigan I have on my free people dress and it's so long and it's just doing strange things. Let's take off this scarf. Let me see it. It's a 1X, but it's cute as hell. It's not all the way to the ground. It's like a mid leg. I said I wasn't trying this on, but how else are y'all going to see how it looks? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Apartment nine. So we're doing the deal today. And my Goyette bag is there. You guys remember, this is the authentic one that I thrifted. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thrift. Yeah, so we did get that. I'm gonna move my, I'm so far away. Cause I don't wanna scream. So this is $5.99, apartment nine. Well, I didn't get that much, but I got, oh my God, I was searching high and low for bigger size of these jackets. They're brand new. It still has the original tags, but honey, all they had was mediums. And these mediums, they were teeny tiny. Can we see this jacket with the fur collar? Yes, do you see it? Beautiful. Look at the pockets. Heavy duty. Look at the fur collar. I was like, where is a large or even an extra large? But there was none. So this is definitely from China. It has nothing but Chinese writings on here. And it's called Pulanzi right there size medium i don't know if you can see that but i got two because they had like four of them and i said to myself it was 25 percent off of 9.99 i was like why would i leave this behind even though the tag says extra small on the goodwill ticket they're actually a medium but i tried one in the mirror and they were tight but you know what two it has a lining that i think if you take out the lining it won't be so tight after all the lining oh the lining is not removable psych see right there nice heavy duty i thought the lining was removable the pocket has like a crochet i mean this you guys know i love korean designs they are designs to me korean japanese I love the way they make their clothes. I just think it's very, very savvy. They go for the savviness. And this was tight. Like, but I have on a free people dress that has major sleeves. It has the fur collar. I don't know if y'all can see it. Not with the hair. Let's fix this. This is 
so the pockets are here so medium it has a little stretch to it so yeah it has a little stretch i wish they had a large but i got two mediums because i know somebody's gonna want one and honestly i am gonna keep one and if i wear this i will wear it with a very thin thin um t-shirt or dress see the pockets yeah so brand new with tags i think this came out of korea or maybe early showroom because most vendors in early showroom are mostly koreans so that's what i'm thinking so i got two of those they were brand new and i was like for that price i'm gonna get two i'm in my guest bedroom guys so forgive what you see look away just look at the merchandise <laughs> yes i was gonna go to the boutique but eh, i was saving the boutique for saturday it's too many distractions if i sit in the boutique you guys are just gonna keep looking at what's in the boutique instead of what i'm trying to show you so this is removable we can take the fur out this is more like a navy blue right honey this is gorgeous look at all the detailings yeah i got two of those two here's the other one that is gonna make one of them is gonna fit me by hook or by crook i'm gonna make it work the next one i got is this um italian men's blazer you guys know if you don't know now you know i'm obsessed with men's blazers because they fit me very well because i have very long arms or hands or whatever you want to call it they are mighty long I and mean, most of the time women's blazers except they're like three quarters they don't fit me right so what do i do i dive it to the men's and not only that I can find a whole luxury, a whole lot more luxury men's blazers than I would do women's. This is by Giorgio Ferrelli, made in Italy. Giorgio Ferrelli. They see a size. This was purple tag, so you guys know I got it for good, good old $1.99. So the, it says double X. It was $9.99. This particular Goodwill. I love their pricing. There's some other good rules, like if I go to the one in San Fernando Valley by my son's school, they want a whole lot of money for men's blazers than they do anything else because they carry mostly designers over there. But this one is like 15 minutes away from home or maybe 10 minutes. Oh, stepping on my free people dress. But do we see how this fits, guys? It's, um, it's uh two buttons i thought it was three but it's actually a two button but you can belt it okay once more you can make it a dress maybe wear like a little shorts underneath it because it has an open flap and just style it you don't have to wear if it's cold outside you don't have to wear an overcoat so yeah i'm trying hold but i find the need to try it down for you dollar 99 italian black two button men's blazer it says it's a double x to me this is more like a 44 let me see before i speak oh nope 42 42 regular what or oh, is it alone it just says 42 it doesn't say it's a regular because if it was a long i can see my hands but it could be that's what i wear in men's blazers my true size in the men's blazer is a 42 regular sometimes i get a 42 long and i have to fold the sleeves which is okay okay the last item from goodwill is my little I will call this my piece de resistance because sure it cost me nothing made in italy well 
we have you. Valentino. Yes. Like, who? What? Another Valentino. But this is in a checkered form. Oh, I got a two piece Valentino from Super Thrift, but that's upstairs with all the buttons. That was like double breasted. The buttons were on point. I was like, yay. Just like this one has all the buttons. Not for sale. Uh -uh. When I find my Valentino jackets, I try to keep them. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I might have a couple of Valentino jackets that I will let go. This one was $6.99, so. These ones to me are rare finds, so not everything Jackie has to sell. I think this is big on me, but let's see. Don't get mad if I don't sell it, guys. Give me a time to rock it, because I love men's blazers. Don't say, OMG, she's not selling it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just showing you what I got from Goodwill. Oh, I love the double pockets. So this look big on me but you guys know we have all those valentino belts this almost looked like one of my richie roy jackets so richie roy was mimicking valentino men's valentino see the buttons right there it says valentino buttons nice so I'm going to style this with something really cute. Put one of my Valentino belts right here, maybe the skinny one, or maybe the bigger one, which I had one of, I don't know where it went. But this is how I'm gonna style this. I love the double flap, and the fact that it's black and white checkered with all the Valentino buttons. This was $7, guys. Go out there and thrift. <laughs> I can do so much with this, so, so much. So I can um, wear it so many ways. I'm just happy I'm collecting. I know these are, uh, it's not, you know, women's, but this is men's and this is luxury. You will never find a Valentino women's jacket at a thrift store. If you do, God has blessed you, but, <laughs> You might get it at a real, real once in a blue moon, but they're gonna charge you three hundred and fifty, five hundred dollars. But to find this ones for like less than ten dollars at a thrift store, it's the same thing. Men, women, but it's still Valentino. So why not divert your attention to the men's department? Okay, they have nothing but luxury there. Men's luxury is cheaper than women's luxury. I keep telling you all that. And like I say, if you're me who wears, rocks a lot of men's stuff, I don't know, it's a tomboy in me. Psh, don't, can't tell you why. But I like it because I feel like it fits me better. Maybe I was a man in my previous life. Maybe, don't know. Let my mother tell it. <laughs> All right, so that was it for Goodwill. There was no bag. I was like, no bag at Goodwill? No. But I did go to, oh, the Valentino that I found upstairs is from Hope for the Valley. I should save that, but I will show you guys when I do a styling haul. But I went to Hope for the Valley and I found this beautiful crossbody kit spade. That was the only bag I found at Hope for the Valley. And then I got that Valentino. Um, did I get that? No, that Valentino that I have upstairs was from Super Thrift. But I did find another Valentino at Hope of the Valley. I don't think I have that here either. I think that's downstairs. Upstairs, whatever, I don't know. But I take some of those things upstairs because I keep those things. So we're doing American way. Beautiful. 100% cashmere cardigan. 100% from Saks Fifth Avenue. $10.99. Nice little cardigan. Gotta make sure I keep this well so the moth don't eat them. But this is cashmere and if from Saks Fifth, it feels like butter. American way. Shush. American way. I didn't bring a hanger, so forgive me. 
Then I have bought two of these Michael Kors dresses, brand new with tags, original price, 226. How much did your girl pay? 16.99, the holidays are coming. Beautiful, gorgeous. Look at this, but the only downfall of this is, is a size two. I got both of them because, you know, the holidays are coming. Somebody might want a beautiful Michael Kors dress. Look at that. With puffy sleeves and a little frill bottom. Yes, $225. But I got it for $16. I got two of them, same thing, same size. They ain't had no other size. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to, I have stuff everywhere. Let's hide the stuff over there. Mm -hmm. let's, let's hide it. All right, the next one I got, another Saks Fifth Avenue. I was just like, I thought I walked into Beverly Hills or something. Saks Fifth Avenue, size medium little shacket and houndstooth like brown houndstooth with a velvet collar beautiful size medium shacket it has four buttons beautiful and this too was $8.99 told you I thought I went to Saks Fifth Avenue sure <laughs> yeah, I'm full of it another one we went to the department stores this one is a tweed jacket from neiman marcus this is their brand private label size 14. can we see that neiman marcus we paid ten dollars i think i got 30 percent off beautiful tweed got the pink the gray and we have four buttons you guys remember i have a styling video coming soon for tweed jackets Let's see how we can rock at tweed jackets this is from neiman marcus via america no from american way via neiman marcus how about that either way it's a neiman marcus brand don't know how it came to american way but it's a neiman's brand it made it there Next one I got is this beautiful Bob Mackey wearable art. Size, medium, beautiful shirt. Gorgeous. Look at the zipper. It says Bob Mackey right there. Look at the embroidery. Yes, and this, this too was $14.99, but I got 30% off. Got a little puffy sleeve. Does it have a spandex? Has a little spandexy, and you can zip it all the way down. Bob Mackey wearable art. Beautiful. That one was 14. I think I bought a couple of Bob Mackey. It's another one. This is a shacket too by Bob Mackey wearable art. I wasn't gonna pick this up, but the lady behind me said, "Girl, if you don't get that, then I don't know what's wrong with you." Because I'm like, uh, I have a couple of Bob Mackey here that I haven't sold. But this is like a full suede. Beautiful. You see the zipper says Bob Mackey right there. Nice jacket kind of looking. Wearable art. See the back of it. You see the embroidery. Yeah, size. Size medium. And then on here, it says Bob Mackey right there. It's a medium bag. It was looking mighty big. But then again, it's a jacket. What's with the shoulder pads? We could take this off. But there's shoulder pads. So I guess this is like old. Yeah. Say if I was to say it's big on me for a medium, but it's a jacket, so it's supposed to be that. And then look at the back. So yeah, cute. Mm. 
Yes, got pockets. So this was 14. I think this one was 16.99. Why this one was a little bit more, I don't get it, but it was. This was American Way. All right, what else did I get out of American Way that you guys need to see? I got this beautiful sweater by Beshka. You guys know Beshka, it's almost like Zara. Beautiful sweater, gorgeous. I think it's a sister of Zara, if you ask me. This was $5.99 for Beshka. And it's a size um, USA. How do they say extra small? How does it say extra small? Don't know. Make it make sense. Okay. The next one from American Way. Oh, yes. Is this beautiful hooded heavy duty Zara jacket. This is so heavy. If I was to mail this to somebody, it's good. Uh, it gotta be like, it, it takes its own box. That's how heavy this is. So maybe I won't be able to sell it, except your shipping has gone up, guys. It's no longer 16. I took a picture, it's now $17. Oh, the holidays are coming, they're trying to kill us. Yes, shipping has gone. If you look in your boxes, when I ship stuff, you'll see where it says 17, no longer 16. So, this is a small, I believe. Oh, my goodness. Very tight. It has a hoodie. Beautiful Zara. And the pockets. Yes, yes, yes. I want to see what size this is. I didn't quite look at it. I just saw Zara and I picked it up. It's very woolly, very heavy. With a hoodie on there. Um, how much is this Zara piece? Let me see what size this is, because I can even begin to tell you what size. And I know it was a little snuggy snug. USA size small. Yep, size so small. Right. Love it. Love it. Look at the zipper. Right there. Got a heavy duty pull on. So well made. And the pockets are the same thing. This weighs, like you will not believe, a lot. A lot, lot, lot. So what's my next one, guys? We still do an American way. Okay, we're almost done with American way. American way has become my thing. Oh, size medium, brand new H uh, and M. I think. Yeah, H and M jacket. I think I saw this at H at H and M at one point. Oversized jacket. Tag says $49, $49.99. I paid $16. I, I thought about it. I was like, ah, oh, it's H&M. Why am I paying $16? But I'm like, wait a minute now. If I didn't go to H&M, I went to H&M the other day. I could not find any jacket like this on sale. So it's one of those oversized blazers. It's a medium. Nice and cool, just wear it and go. Size medium, a little oversized. We don't button this, we just let it hang. It's inspired like the men's blazers. That's what H&M and Zara was doing last season. Most of their oversized jackets were, was copied from the men's design. So why not just get the real thing? Go to the men's department, get you one. Yeah, nice. And that one was $16.99. What's my mess going on? All right, we're almost done here. And I'll show you a couple of bags I've got. Ah, uh, I saw this and I said, speak no more. I'm getting this tweed jacket. It's by Coco Blue, size medium. 
nice duster beautiful I'm gonna have to style this with all the other tweets that I got but it's a medium cocoa blue oh my god my three people dress I'm just stepping on it all over I have gotten this dress from my shorts it's like so much going on cocoa blue oh no gotta be careful with this when you have when you try this on or you put this on no jewelry because you just keep getting cut up in the jewelry section so yeah stretchy a little small for medium but it's giving you that rich chanel vibe beautiful gorgeous how much did i pay for coco blue How much did we pay for this one? $10.99. Kind of heavy. Another heavy duty. That will take a box by itself. There's no squishing it over anything. But that's why some of these things I keep for myself because they're yeah, so hard to ship. And I don't want to go like, oh my God, people keep buying all this heavy duty stuff and give me $16 shipping so like Jackie I cannot make magic I want to damage your merchandise bag if you feel like especially the new bags from early showroom if you don't want your bag squished just pay the extra money to get it in a $21 box so it could come or you can get to $16 box so it could come to you nice without it being I don't want to fuss it down a box because that's all you paid you know guys let's just be realistic Shipping is expensive. So I got bags. Yes, maybe three. This from American Way is by Pelly. Pelly Studio. You guys familiar with Pelly Studio? They make beautiful bags. Look at this leather. Oh, oh. Nice and soft. Lambskin. This was a good buy. I think this was like $7. And this wasn't even in the case. I had to find this in the section where all the non-relevant handbags are. I'm like, okay, who don't know their bags? But look at this bag. Look at this leather. Yeah. It was not with the massive. It wasn't behind the case. I got something cute though behind the case, but I'll show you guys on Sunday. Not today. I'm not going to spoil it. Because then I need something to show on Sunday. Because I'm like, it's my girl. Handbags. So I got this ATN Adner, nice little vintage looking ATN with the A, almost look like a Bottega weave, nice little satchel, almost like a little bowler, it has feet, ATN Adner makes great bags guys, this too didn't cost me that much, the inside is super clean, beautiful, nice, all dressed up. You carry this beautiful bag, you're good to go. So that was that from American Way. How much was that bag? I think I paid $4.99. This is this cute little thing. It was just sitting there. So cute Chevron bag. Beautiful leather. You open it like that. I think this is leather. And this is by what is this by top shop so uh, it's not leather it's full leather i don't see top shop it's like zara hardly ever do they do leather it's that is cute cross body or shoulder it just depends on how you want it how much is this top shop i wonder how much did i pay i don't see the price wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Oh, here it is. $7.99. Cute chevron. Cute little number. You close like this. Pre-loved. So, yeah. I'm trying to make a crossbody out of it. You can wear it this way. Gorgeous. Or you can wear it as a shoulder. So, up to you. 
So this was cute. So those are oh there's a piece the resistance. There is, there is, there is. They had two pieces they resistant from American Way. Two. But one of them is going to be shown on Sunday. But I think I told you guys about this in the, in the car. This was in the case. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Alexander Wang shoe. So some lady thought I was crazy because I was paying that much for this shoe. And I told her, I said, uh, this shoe is retails for $500. So I paid 119 If you notice, they price it for 179 And then I got 30% off, which brought it to like 119 And I have two Alexander Wine handbags that I got from the, one I thrifted and the other I got from the real real. So I feel like I can rock this together. And she said, first she said, that was some cute shoes. I said, yeah. She said, you should get it. I said, I am, because I was looking at it. And then she said, but how much is it? <laughs> and I told her the price. And she said, what? <laughs> she said, what? She said, this is a thrift store. Why are they selling it for that much? I'm like, well, these thrift stores nowadays, all they do is make money. So what are we going to do? <laughs> she said, what? And then it was a pair of gucci shoes but it was a teeny tiny size and she was like i ain't paying that much she said you go girl <laughs> i was like lord now i was feeling bad that i was spending this much for this book for this pair of boots because she was like no 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 but do we see it so cute i love it she was like what i'm like yeah so i'm gonna style this when I do my luxury boots collection that I've thrifted or that I didn't pay and I'm an elect for. <sighs> she thought 119 was just way too much. She, so when I was done, I'm going to my car. She said, did you get those boots? I said, yes, I did. She was like, oh, that's a lot of money. I'm not very comfortable. It's all about the comfort. I said, but I, I, still, I, said, I won't pay $500 for them, that's for sure. She said, still, a hundred dollars is a hundred dollars. <laughs> I was, she made me feel bad. I was like, shit, should I take it back? <laughs> but anyway, I love those. So yeah, those are the items that I thrifted today. I feel like I'm missing something. There's something here in the bag. Oh, wait a minute, there's a few. How did I miss this? Oh, I found this beautiful dress. I, I missed this, it was hiding. This is a brand. It's so heavy. It's like velvet that everything was cut off. But if you look at the make, you will know this this was something. It's so heavy. There's no size. I haven't had a chance to try it on, but they cut off the tag. So I was looking in the zipper. The zipper has a name. I ain't got my glasses here, so I will let you all know later. So I got those. And I realized I still have some more stuff. Ooh. And then I got this little skirt from Nasty Girl. Yeah, brand new with tags. Yeah, a little slip skirt. And size, uh, I got that for, yeah, the tag right here. I think it says it's a small or size eight. No, size small. But it was $7.99. I don't know what the nasty girl price was because I think it was cut off. You right there. You will see any price? I see nothing. But anyway, I got that. And then I got this cute another. I think this is a velvet. Yeah, this is by Velvet. A beautiful tie dye. I think this is a medium blouse with the sleeve. I just love the fabric. I've sold velvet before in my um, when I had my boutique. It has a little embroidery um, stones right there. Tie dye, but the fabric is everything. I sold this in my boutique, and they're not cheap. I'm like, okay, ooh, and yeah. Remember, I got a lamb bang from. Um, 
Goodwill. This is the lamb brown. First, I, when I thought, saw it, I thought it was bendy. I'm like, woohoo. But then I looked at it. I said, well, I don't see no abs. All I saw was some design right here. And then I flipped it over. What does it say? Lamb Van Paris. Yes. Do we see that? Oh, uh, you husbands that have, you women that have husbands that like to look fly. I got two Lamb Van ties for you. You can clock on the holidays are coming. I'm sure you guys are going to be going places. Yeah. You guys know. When you go places, you're all dressed up. And especially them African brothers. That every time there's like a party, they go all booted and booted and suited. Is that what it's called? Show their beautiful design and stuff. That's it. All right. Enough of my mess. Anywho. I wish my husband wore ties. He doesn't. He's more of a sports guy. He went to Sneakerhead today and got himself some sneakers and he was over the moon. He was like, oh my God, baby, I love the sneakers. I'm like, okay, enough already. It's just sneakers. <laughs> but not for him. He love that. All right. Let me show you a few items I picked from. Daily showroom. I got this cute little Louis Vuitton cappuccino dupe in the red. They have this in red. They have it in fuchsia. What other color do they have? But I only chose this. I was like, I wasn't going there to shop shop. But when I saw it, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I got a crossbody bag where you can, a strap where you can wear it as a crossbody. Beautiful. So I got those. This look like that Louis Vuitton. Doesn't have the L, but it got to be. Yeah. Oh, and then I got this. I got this. I put it in my shopping basket, and I had to go to the jewelry department because you're not supposed to take your big old basket to the jewelry. Those people, those Korean people, they trust no one. So if you go to the jewelry department, you need to leave your big shopping cart on the side with your name on it. And then they make you carry a little basket to go into the jewelry section. So I'm there in the jewelry, jewelry section shopping my hat away. This was in my shopping bag. This is like a Burberry Gucci kind of dupe bag. This one lady from British or wherever she was, she had a British accent. She don't pull this out of my basket and I'm coming out. I'm like, wait a minute. See this? And she goes, I said, that's mine. Do you not see my name on there? She was like, oh, where did you pick that? I'm like, upstairs. Well, I didn't see that. I was like, but you're not going to take it out of my basket now, would you? I said, there's a lot of them upstairs. I'm not going back up there to get it. Go up there and look for it. So it has this little pouch. As I tell my little story. Oh, how did we, he told her friends, how did we miss that? I'm like, lady, can I have my bag? She said, oh, this is so gorgeous. I said, it's upstairs. Take the elevator. It's in the middle aisle. If you don't see it, ask one of those people that are working here. They will show you where this bag is. I'm like, but for the meantime, give me my bag back. <laughs> I'm like, and the guy that was ringing up was laughing because he was like, I was like, what is going on with these people over here? I said, this is not a thrift store. So it has this to make it where it's not slouchy, slouchy. But you can make it smaller by snapping it as I'm talking away. She says, oh my God, do they have a lot? I'm like, yes, they do. They have a whole cart. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> I'm like, yes, they have a lot. You can go get it. Oh, okay. Thank you. I was like, yeah, can I have a bag? Yeah, so you can wear it this way. Oh, you can wear it with that way. It's some kind of uh, bouncy, bouncy fabric, like bouncy, and it has the cable trim all around it. And um, so I just got one because I don't know. You know, when I find new bags, I don't need to buy a whole lot because I don't want to. All, I don't want to sit here with too much merchandise. So I buy one and I say to myself, 
If they want it, if they like it, I will go back and I will get some more. But for now, this is it. So nice, very bouncy. So I got that. So I was like, oh, you can go upstairs. You can just take the elevator. <laughs> oh, do they have any more? I'm like, I'm sure they do. But anyway, I got another little MS Kelly dupe. It's a black. The fabric is not pebbled. It's more of, um, I don't know how to call this. It's just, it's a weird fabric. It really is. I don't feel no pebble. It's very smooth, but there's a texture to it. Do you see that? So they only have this black and then they had um, a brownish rustic color. And um, I just chose this. So it does open as such. It's a dupe, it doesn't say a mess anywhere. We have the crossbody, we got that. This is bigger than the other ones I showed you guys. I don't know if you guys watched Beverly Hills last night, they were having a birthday party. I was like, we don't need to pay that much. We can just make it do what we do. Don't need to break the bank. Everybody got $13,000. Gazelle's bag, uh, got several there. Her bag was $13,000. i am like, girl, you got kids to send to college. Stop it. But, you know, we've all done crazy stuff before, so why not? You only live once. If you can afford it, shh, go ahead. I did that before. Not anymore. I let my lesson. It will be a cold day in hell before I stand in front of MS. Once upon a time, I traded some Chanel bag for an MS bag when it first came out. Don't even know if I have the real thing, but with all the controversy going on, I'm still cherishing the one I traded. I took two Chanel bags. It was 5,000 each, and I had $2,000 to get an, a Birkin bag. And my husband almost had a heart attack. But those Chanel bags were gratis. So I didn't pay for them. I was a Chanel specialist and I got it for free. All I paid was tax. So I took it to Fashion File when Fashion File just started. Hello, Ben, if you're watching. That's one of the owners of Fashion File, if they still own it, he and his wife. But yeah, I sold that. I was a good customer. I was always bringing all my Chanel gratis. I'm like, yeah, don't want it. Yeah, now I'm like, why'd you do that? And then somebody decided to steal all my stuff. But anywho, so LA showroom, we got those bags as I digress. If you guys haven't known anything about me, I talk a lot. Talky, 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 talky. That's me. The next one, I know Mama D wanted to see this in the blue. So, yeah. I hope this wasn't, did she take this out of the display? Was this the only blue? Why is this trap out? She must have. This had to be the only blue. Because I place my order and then I go to it to, to the accessory place and then I come. This is a different showroom. They pack all my stuff. And I'm thinking she only got one blue because the straps are attached. Usually I don't see no trimmings. So me and her have to have a talk. This must be the only blue they had. So Mama D, you wanted to see the blue? This is what blue looks like. Let nobody ask me for more than one because number one, I have to call her tomorrow and find out if she had other blue. Then I'll let you know on Saturday. I'm gonna have to call her because I don't understand why I got the one that already had everything on there. Hmm. Why, yeah. But I got the blue. Then we have the black. And that's the black is pre-sold for Kim. I only I had gone two, I shipped one out. So did I get a crock? Oh, they got a crock and a gray. Gray, orange, and black. That's what they have in the crock. I wasn't some woman was crowding my space and I think I walked out and I forgot to get it. So I got this future give on sheet belts. That we always sell. We sold those. And then I got the two black Christian Dior ones. No matter where I don't black. So they finally got a few of them. 
which I don't know where they are. But we got the black cushion here, I'll show you guys. And we have the dual belt in the red. We had some more of the, the, the gloves. I'm like, what in heaven's name? Oh, Kim, I got your Fendi belts. It's three in a pack. So I know what I told you I was going to sell it to you for. So I got that. I had stuff everywhere. And this is a hot mess. I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, wait. Wait. I can't forget. I need to show you guys this. We got the silk filling, the sexy scarves. Ah, we got the black and the gold. I only got, I got three blacks and three gold. So, do you see this? Yes, yes, yes. Can we see that? So we got that. And then we got the gold one. I think these are the only spots I got. I was so tired to shop this week. I'm like, I had too many people's stuff to, to fill up. So I was not buying extra stuff. So here's the gold. These are the Versace silk filling scarves. And she too, she was low on everything. Because I go to market on Monday, I, do, I don't do any, um, I do myself a lot of the service. And she tells me, don't shop on Monday because during the weekends we've sold a lot and we're busy trying to replenish. What you need to do is shop within the week. Like maybe Thursday, I'm like, do you know where I live? I don't live close to downtown. And the only reason I shop on Monday is because when I drop Remy back in school, then we head downtown. But if I was to leave my house on a Thursday that I'm going to market, which is what I should do. I have to think about that. Cause she kept saying don't shop on monday there's not enough stuff so i got three black and gold and three gold and black versace book scraps silk filling you guys know these are 24 dollars so actually i'm gonna say i have two blacks because i'm keeping one black for myself yeah i'm doing that sorry guys I don't know if I go back next week if she's gonna have any more then I'll be like what why did I get it and we got some more belts this time they were putting out metallic Valentino leather regular size they got this is the this is the gold they had a silver with gold hardware but i chose the metallic gold because i just feel like and this has like a little vintage looking valentino v and then i got it in the green to add a couple of color and we see that so I, they were putting so many colors out they put in blue yellow and I'm like, oh, I'm overwhelmed. Let me just get this too and see how this, this is going to do good. And then we'll take it from there. And coming. And that's it, guys. We still have maybe three of the MS2 belts, but I mean, our scarves, they were sold out of all the blacks. So the only black they had was the one with the HHH and the Paisley one. Then they had the D for the deal. And then they had the gray with the HHH. That's all they had, guys. That's all I have for you. Yay, I made it through. I didn't think I, my husband was like, are you doing a haul? Didn't you do a haul yesterday? I'm like, uh, yeah. Like this is a pre-sale. This is not a styling video i'm not taking on my clothes i'm not changing back and forth so yeah this is how i went thrifting didn't take the scarf with me it was in my bag but 
wore my scarf, wore my glasses that everybody seemed to want to ask me. Oh my God. Boy, I love your glasses. Hello. Good, good, good. Then I got the cheetah one. You guys saw me try this. They're so light in your face. Good. Mm -hmm. Hello. Shush. I got that. That is, I can't wait to rub this. I just cannot. So if you like it, holler at me and I'll go make a trip. It's not too far from my house. They don't have this ones anymore. That's for sure. These are by Thomas James. They don't have any more sold out. But they have this. They have lots and lots and lots of these ones. So, yeah. Put back my glasses. I don't want to scare you all. And we got jewelry. You guys saw those, um, did I bring them down? They're upstairs. Those, um, David, you have to, they do have it in silver, Mama D. I did send you a, a reply. They have silver. I just got, they had different kinds. So, but I went for those colors because they caught my eye. I'm like, ah, I can wear this with so much stuff and um uh, what else they have they got those beads that i wore i showed you guys the beads i opened one for myself but then they had this different color beads these are like 19 dollars for the whole so many beads on there with little charms hanging you guys know when it comes to accessories i'm just the queen of accessories i love me some accessories it's like sure and then they have this beautiful pearl puff it's like, holidays are coming how could you miss something like this they have a mighty necklace but i didn't get the necklace i was like you guys are not even buying this stuff but I buy things that I know if you guys don't buy it, guess who's going to wear it? More. Jackie is going to be rocking this cough like there is no tomorrow. You see that? Do you see it? See the pearls? After I have the thing, the necklace is a choker. After I have that on my neck, a little pearl stored. I start, and this right here, shh, it's a vibe. All right. Didn't break the bank. Then I'm going to be looking mighty proud. Yes, I'm not called fabulous jet for no reason. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I would like Jackie stop. But anyway, if you want some cops, how about your girl? Oh my god, they were out of the after I mailed those Louis Vuitton ones, I went back to go replenish. They ain't had no more. I'm like, you guys, the whole of California, the people that own the business. They all shop at this accessory warehouse, so it's like, it's so hard. If you, that's why I'm hoping that when I go back, I find some more of those colorful MS Duke um, bracelets, because if they're not, they don't have no more, I don't know what I'm going to do, because people are liking it. And um, that was just me saying, you know what? Oh my freaking goodness gracious, I can't open this cup. I got this beautiful cuff right here. I'm trying to show you guys. The, the package is this women that are packaging this stuff that sit there and they watch you as you shop while they're packaging. Oh no, not my nails. Speaking of nails, I gotta go do them. Like shush, I was supposed to do them today. They're not. So you all gonna have to see it one more time. Then I'll go do it this week. I was still busy running around doing other things see beautiful gorgeous cough right there see that so very well made so yeah that's it and that um necklace that i wore i showed you guys my styling hall with all the little uh balls i have to get some more of those i really do i'm like I figured out something what I can do. There are two extra balls that are hanging up here. It's a set, the earrings that come with them, they're like little studs, like what am I gonna do with them? So I'm gonna take off those two extra balls and I'm gonna make me an earring to go with it. 
You watch and see. Yeah, I'm creative like that. Oh, I wore the other ones, but I forgot. I didn't wear the future. So here's the future one. The David Yearman future. I did not wear the future. I only wore I wore the blue, the green, and the red. And the future was just in here. So yeah, I thought that was it, but this is it for now, guys. So I hope you like it. Like and subscribe. Join this fabulous train if you just a watcher and you were like, okay. We are not all about lifestyle and travel. We're not doing, this is not what this channel, if you're looking for travel vlogs, and I'm not gonna start traveling again until probably next year. It's like, I have so much to do around the house, you know, take care of my husband, sometimes take care of Remy if he's around with his schooling and everything, and then run this little business on the side. Cause like I told you guys, I had a boutique before the pandemic hits. I had to shut down and brought everything home to the garage. Actually, it wasn't, yeah, it was in part of, I have a three-car garage. So it was, everything was packed in the corner. But then when I started showing stuff that I find and I have my sisters who motivated me to do this live sale, I was like, I don't know. Because I'm used to just being in the store and selling when customers come in. So now that we're doing the live sale, this is a business. It's not a hobby anymore. It's become a business. I'm still using my, when I do my taxes, I'm still using my business name. I get my seller's permit. It's still under my business name, which at the end of the year, I'm still paying. Every every three months, I pay a seller's permit tax. California wants their cut. So every three months, I have to file and pay taxes. And then at the end of the year, the city of California wants me to report how much i made so i could pay them if i made more than a hundred thousand so it's not a joke this is not i started it as fun but then it took a different turn and it's back to the business that it is but you know what the only part of this that i'm happy about is the fact that i don't pay nobody no rent i don't pay no electricity for my store i don't pay my tv cable because when i had a store i had a tv because I was gonna go crazy if I didn't have no TV. So all those expenses, they are the window because we're doing it in the garage. Who's gonna come check me? Nobody. All right, so I love you guys. Join this train and then I'll still do my regular hauls. I'm not gonna ever divert from that. We'll do hauls, we'll do styling hauls and I can show you how you could take the low and make it look fabulous. Yes, we're not, here to show like oh look at this bag that i paid eight thousand for five thousand yeah we might have it but we're not showing it to you we're not telling you i'm not walking into chanel i've been to chanel so many times my co-workers are still there um i did a vlog one time but remy made a mistake and deleted it and i was like remy i don't go to chanel that often so why do you delete it but anyway, I could take you guys, if I ever was to go luxury shopping, I will take you guys with me. But for the meantime, we are doing the high, the low, and the middle. Mostly the low and the middle, but we're still looking fierce, okay? Thumbs up, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. And I love you guys, and this is all I got for you. Ciao, Bellas. Au revoir. Bye-bye.